Hello my lovelies, welcome to today's vlog. As I'm putting on my SPF and my lip balm, I'm going to chat you through what we're going to do today and also kind of my skincare because I get asked a lot about what I use on my skin and I've got a couple of tips for you guys if you are also struggling with your skincare because I feel like I had it all like really on point and then it kind of went downhill last year so I'm trying to get back into everything. So uh, the SPF I'm using is the Creme Sunny Sphin AR from SVR Laboratories. It's SPF 50, but I think this might be why I'm breaking out at the moment because I've only been using it for three days and I've already gotten a couple of spots. So we'll see. We'll see what's happening with this one. So the plan for today is to go to a antique store, which I hope is open to see if I can find some cozy stuff for the office. Because if you haven't seen the last vlog, I'm trying to make our office a bit more cozy, a bit nicer. I just don't know what to put there. So if you want to see my office and kind of what I need and maybe give me some, some suggestions, go ahead in the comments. I always love your suggestions because I'm not that great at like putting together a room. I love really nice pieces. I'm quite a minimalist, but I just, it's too much. Like the rooms just scare me and I hate deciding on anything. So let me know your thoughts about that room. So we'll go there. Also go for coffee and to see a, a perfume like outlet store and see what's there. If there's anything exciting, they often have some niche finds. So I'm excited to show you um, the prices and also what's there. I also have five new perfumes in my collection. So I'll show you them at the end of the video as well. Mm, let's see. For my skincare, you guys keep asking me in um, my videos, so I thought I would run through what I'm doing at the moment because kind of my whole skincare went bad last year. And what I'm doing, actually, a little tip for you guys if you also want to try to figure out what is breaking you out and stuff, um, I downloaded this app called Skin Log and you can put down all the products you're using so then you actually know what's causing breakouts. So I've been quite diligent now about writing um, what I'm using, how my skin is reacting to that product every couple of days and also noting if I'm adding a new product in but I'm only adding one new product at a time to really know what's going on because it's always hard for me. I've always enjoyed like rotating products and changing them and I'm like oh this will work this will work somebody recommended this this will work but actually my skin is so sensitive that it doesn't work so I've introduced this SPF from SVR for sensitive skin three days ago and it and I think it might be breaking me out because I already have some breakouts, but I'm on a period as well. So that might be it. So I'm going to use it for a while longer to see. But so far, I've realized that I'm allergic or intolerant to one of the ingredients in CeraVe, moisturizers and cleansers. So that's been breaking me out. I've also been using tretinoin with that ingredient in. So that's why I didn't get any results. And I was like, what is going on? Like everybody's getting on so well with these products. So mine is from Dermatica. And the great thing about them is that I reached out to them, said, oh, I'm sensitive to that ingredient. Can you mix me a formula without that ingredient? And they did. And it's been amazing. So much fewer breakouts, a bit of dryness, but this is amazing and so good. So I'm on tretinoin 0.05%, niacinamide and azelaic acid 4%. Really, really good. I'll leave my link down below because I think it's not an affiliate or anything, but if I refer you guys, you get something for free. Um, and I get some credit for my Dermatica, so why not? But yeah, really, really enjoying this one. Next, uh, what I've been using is MZ Skin. Every single product I've tried from them is amazing. And they're a bit pricey. I love the scent of this. It's like a very medical scent, so it's not like perfume, I don't think. Um, but it's really nice. So this is the Rich Moisturizer, and it's so rich. 
but they've done something that when it dries it's actually a bit mattifying on the skin which is absolutely amazing so you've got the richness for using something like tretinoin but it's absolutely amazing i've used up the whole vitamin serum a c serum from them and it's been amazing it hasn't irritated me a lot it brightened my skin the scent was an issue it's a bit it smells like fermented bread dough or something but i just didn't <laughs> Like I was holding my breath for a few seconds and then it was fine, but I loved it. I used it all up and now I'm using this. I've been using this for a couple of days here and there, the SkinCeuticals Florentine uh, Vitamin C Serum, but I think it might be irritating my skin. So, because every time I've used it, it's been like bothering me. So I'm holding off. First, I need to figure out whether this is breaking me out. What hasn't been breaking me out is this Hydrans Boost from Aven. This is an additional hyaluronic acid serum. Really amazing, really gentle. I love La Roche-Posay and uh, Aven products. Most of them don't break me out if they don't have subtle alcohol in them. For my spots, this is the best thing ever. This has lasted me three years so far. Probably should check on the whether I should <laughs> throw it out. This is Asneside 5% Gel Benzoyl Benzo Peroxide. Sorry. And this is just benzoyl peroxide for your spots. You sometimes like, get loads of like different spot products that are not like medical grade that don't work as well. This is really cheap, you get a really big tube and this is like a proper pharmacy product that you can get without prescription in boots or where else. I could just get it from boots every time. So it's really good, really works really fast. And also for my cleanser I've been using, I've been going back to Efficlar for oily skin cleanser and that I've tried a few and that one has been a winner. Really keeps my skin clear and everything. That one has got salicylic acid, really amazing product from La Roche-Posay. But because my skin has been a bit dry, I'm now going to try Efficlar Bio. I think that is a bit of a mild Elder cleanser. We'll see how I get on with that one. But yeah, just really checking everything uh, and trying to figure out why my skin has been the way it has been. But it's been getting better, I must say, from this year while um, I've been just really tracking every single product and why I think many people have been asking what kind of skincare products I'm using because this masks everything and I wear it for every single video. Double wear with a damp beauty sponge. That is the dream. It looks so natural if you apply it with a damp beauty sponge. You just have to work really quickly and apply, um, apply a really thin layer and it just blurs everything, stays forever, looks beautiful on camera. Every time I wear this, somebody comments on how beautiful my skin is and it's not you know, like I've still got blemishes and everything. So this is the trick, I do believe. But also I've been wearing SPF since forever. So that is also what really helps with your skin. If you don't wear SPF daily, really consider it. I'll pop a picture here of this truck driver that he was driving and always on one side of his uh, skin. Actually, there was sun damage on the other. It wasn't so... It, one side of his skin is so sun damaged and that is 90% of skin aging actually. Only 10% is natural and 90% of our skin's aging is due to the sun and UV and UVB rays and everything. So that is like number one anti-aging advice <laughs> that I can give to you guys. Let's apply some makeup, my favorite, favorite product when I'm not filming which today I am, but vlog, not with cameras and lights, is this Luminous Silk Concealer. It is amazing. I use it all over my skin as a foundation. Love, love, love this. So light, blends in, just looks natural, amazing. There we go. I don't mind some redness peeking through because I don't want to aggravate my skin and because I'm using tretinoin actually my foundation isn't looking that great right now anyways because of the dryness so it's much better to just use concealer. Just brushing my eyebrows a little bit. Little bit. Liner. Always.
Oi, oi, oi. Fly now. Sometimes I go big. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes they're even. Sometimes they're not. I don't mind. And then we'll use this foundation. It is Max Factor Masterpiece 2 in 1 Lush uh, Wow. And it is an amazing foundation with foundation um, designer. Ones are nice, but this, like, this is just smashing it. It's such a good foundation, uh, not foundation, uh, mascara. Kevin O'Quan Lash Curler that I've had for eight years. <laughs> it's really, really good. Here we go, and then we twist, and it changes. So there's like two brushes in here, one lengthening and one volumizing, which is quite cool. I always get it on my eyelids, but I'll fix it later. Let's get this brush. Nice oh, oh, flipping egg. Got the eyelash in my eye. Got it. Some contouring powder. That is running out. And a little bit like here to add some depth to the eye. Like this. As you can tell, I don't pay attention to detail as long as it's blended. It is great. And some powder that is also running out. Yeah. Hate powder. Indian some blush that I did apply very gently because I'm so pale that I might end up looking very very strange. <laughs> Actually, don't wear the liner at all. But I thought today is the day. Maybe a bit of Florence lip balm, just purple. Fun. Fun pop of color. Bronze goddess. Let's do this. It's like a blue bronzer highlight thingy. Voila. Getting ready to go out and drop some trousers at the trailers. That was weird. Trailers! <laughs> And this is my scent of the day. Absolutely in love with this one. But ignore this. <laughs> we are now dropping off trousers at the tailors and we'll see if they can fix them a little bit because the seam unraveled. And then we'll go and actually we're going to see like a leisure facility because we're thinking what I'm thinking for my sanity. I love water and like there's a pool and maybe I can go there and to the gym and stuff like that. So we're going to see. Done, success, dropped it off and it'll hopefully be fixed. It's my beloved Philippa K trousers. Uh, but the good thing is actually that Philippa K, I wrote to them and said, oh, I only wore them a couple of times and the invisible seam has unraveled. And they said, oh yeah, just get a receipt and we'll reimburse you for the tailor. So that is really nice. When you buy from brands that really care about their quality, it's nice because you get the proper service. So thumbs up. Uh, how are you? Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have to say, a bit of a fail. I don't know why, but here. I think many people do prefer antique stores with a lot of like ornamental, very rich, fresque things. And I'm looking for a bit simpler designs, but I guess that's what sells here. So it's really hard to find like more of this Scandinavian or like more modern, simpler cuts in everything. And 
serving plates or something a bit more abstract here it's a very like castle <laughs> but i'm happy that we came here and just checked it out because we've been going past this shop a lot and i was like what is in there i want to know so at least i know it's not my style but i love the search for something amazing so the search continues in trying to furnish that room in a very nice cozy way now let's go get some coffee because we're freezing so stupid because I keep touching my hair because it just was cut yesterday and it's so soft you know when your hair gets from the hairdressers like it's always so soft and so different than when you do it by yourself anyway we're here at the discount store fragrances let's see what they've got Nothing exciting. Last time there was Frederick Mao in there and more Tom Ford. This time it's kind of like, although Tender Lights, my favorite from Estee Lauder exclusive line was there on sale, which is amazing. And then Infinite Sky as well, which is like the two top ones I really, really like. The rest, Lost Cherry was nice as well, but there was no test or anything, so I don't know if it's available anymore. But sometimes you can get really nice like by Killian Fragrances, Frederick Mao, Tom Ford, and some different niche ones. So really exciting usually, but this time not so much. We got back home and I want just to share with you some of the fragrances that I just recently got. By the way, this is the new solution for the background. If you guys know what I'm talking about, just to make it a bit more presentable. Anyway, so I got the whole new collection. Hello, Ossie. Are you so happy that we got home? He's so happy. I'll show you. i show you your little bumpkin. Show you little bumpkin. Show you little bumpkin. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And just for those of you asking about Moshi, Moshi, come here. Yes, it's okay. He is doing. <laughs> come on. Come here, Moshi. Come here. Yes. Moshi is doing much better because I was telling you in the last vlog that Moshi wasn't doing well and he had a spinal injury and he still has one but it's much better now in terms of how he behaves he like thank you so much for all your comments and for caring he uh, is playing now like before he just didn't want to even play he wasn't uh, doing well at all and he's got a very uh, very fun spirit he's always playing he's always like a puppy and he's like two and a half um, but the thing is the doctor said that they won't do an operation or anything because like that's risky so they would rather him be on painkillers and hopefully this will be manageable so i got Thank you, Nishane, PR team, for the whole four of the new collection for Nishane that they've just released. And I must say that my favorites are this one, Tem Fluor, the red one from, uh, it's called, An it's also called Ancronage, which I find that it's easier for me to remember the bottom names than the top ones. This to me is like a niche version of YSL Libre. It's really, really good. It's strong. 
it has more spicy facets. It's a bit more gourmand. So it's like the Eau de Parfum, but with a bit more spice and a bit more gourmandness. It's really delicious. So this is one of my favorites. And the one that I'm wearing today that I've been obsessed with, that I discovered it, I think it was two months ago or something. I went to Harvey Nichols and it was already there. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. I want to get it. Papi Le Fico, and it's Reykjavik down here. And this one, guys, it's very feminine. Give me a bit of like Gris Chanel vibes. It's fig, it's spicy, it's sweet. It's so, so delicious. Love this one so much. And then we've got two that to me are more masculine leaning, leaning tarot. This one, it's a bit oriental. I feel like there's something in here that I quite don't get on with. So this one's not like the best, but the credo one is really nice. This one is very dry and woody, a bit dark chocolatey, a tiny bit like a cocoa dusting, really special. And this one definitely means masculine, but I will definitely wear it as well because I love this sort of a scent. And I just, with this collection, I just really, really like it. But I think my favorite has to be this one because I've worn it like three days this week. The Ray Caviquan Papi de Feco. It's delicious. It's so, so gorgeous. And then I had a sample of Guidance for Forever from Amouage and they just released it. So now I've got a bottle. Thank you so much, Amouage. They saw that I loved it, so they sent me a bottle, which I'm very thankful to get, and I love this bottle. This is my first for women like bottle that I have, and I love it. I love the magnetic cap and how cute it is and the color and everything. The design is just amazing. This one I wore yesterday. Can't get enough of it. It's just so good. It's so like milky, fruity, just, oh, but delicious and very calming while still being very amouage because it's got this like smokiness this in there that all the amouages have. So it's a very unusual women's fragrance that like without this like amouage DNA could be a, like any brand, but with this added in, I think it's so amouage. Like if I smelled this on anybody, I wouldn't know that it's amouage. It's got this like soapy cleanliness, almost like, church incense cleanliness it's absolutely stunning i love this one i'm going to retop my scent of the day though Reykjavik. i call it Reykjavik. i just can't remember this name i hope you enjoy this sort of a vlog let me know what kind of content you want, you want to see on this channel subscribe of course for more perfume and vlog content and i'll wish you a very very happy great day ahead See you later.